wazee tibim wazee tialala warembo ha wa mama mwe asanteni sana wale mavuria <laughs> asanteni sana sasa jambo la kwanza ni kwa shukuru sana kwa kuja hapa na la muhimu sana ningependa kuambia kwamba ile unity yetu ni muhimu zaidi hii mwendo sio rahisi lakini hakuna kitu ambao ni rahisi na mimi mpaka saa hii siwezi amini ya kwamba hii uchaguzi hatukuipata mpaka saa hii lakini Mungu anajua kwa nini hizo mpango zote zilikuwa hivyo na la pili ningependa kuambia nyinyi wote kuanzia baba sa zile adui yako amekuweka chini when your enemy puts you down do not stay down because you are closer to the ground he will bury you on the ground because you are next to the ground you fight your way up so we will fight we will soldier on na tuko kwa familiar grounds si ati tuko mahali ambapo hatujui tuko kwa very familiar grounds na mimi nataka tushikane hapa Nairobi Nairobi ndio Kenya na Nairobi tuko na viti kumi na tatu za wajumbe hii Nairobi tuki paralyze hakuna chochote naweza fanyika hii nchi si ni kweli na sisi tunataka tushikane mkono to fight tukienda mbe? mbele na nyingine ningependa kuwaleza ya kwamba mambo ya i our commissioners wa IBC saizi hawa commissioners wanataka wadhulumiwe na Ruto na huyu Ruto anasema yeye ni mtu ambaye anamcha Mungu sana anasema anaomba Mungu asubuhi anaomba Mungu lunch time anaomba Mungu jioni na akilala anaenda kuomba mu? Mungu lakini tukiona tabia zake zimeanza ku kutu ku, 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 kutukera na mimi ningependa kusema ya kwamba hata Biblia the bible in romans 12:19 to 21 says that vengeance belongeth unto me i will recompense saith the lord the bible biblia inasema revenge uachie nani lakini wewe ushakuwa rais ni nini tena unatakia watu ambao wako chini instead of organizing the country you are busy antagonizing the country na sisi tutafanya kazi yetu ku keep checks and balances kwa hii serikali tukiongozwa na Raila Amolo Odinga la pili mambo ya hasla fund ambayo imetolewa juzi na wacheni niwaambie wa Kenya. Hii pesa ya CDF ya 50 billion ambayo tunanyimwa. Hiyo pesa ya 50 billion ya, ya 44 billion ya CDF ndiyo imewekwa kwa Hasla Fund. Saizi. Sasa sisi kwa constituency zetu January inafika. Saizi tunaambiwa kila wiki tutapewa milioni tano katika kila constituency. Ikifika January hiyo ni 20 million. Basari inafaa iwe 50 million. Wengine tutapatia basari nini? So by January inafaa tuchukue wanafunzi kutoka shule tofauti tofauti waende state house. Hiyo ndio iwe shule. Hii <laughs> CDF naye tunaambia rais awata hata wai kutoboa kwa hii kitu. Maana watoto wengi wanaelimishwa na hii. Mashule zinajengwa na hii. Sasa atutaki upuzi na mchezo katika mambo ya CDF na hii mambo ya hasla fund tuliambiwa ni bure wakati wa uchaguzi wakati wa campaigns tuliambiwa hasla fund ni bu size hasla fund inarudishwa na interest ya 8% ukipewa 50000 unarudisha 4000 juu yake 8% hiyo 4000 mama mboga si anaweza leta stock mpya na hii 4000 watu milioni mbili wakiilipa hii nchini sio ni 8 billion hiyo pesa inaenda wapi so instead instead ya kusaidia the real hustlers au wanadefraud wanaibia the real 
hustlers na hii pesa ukipewa tano inarudi ikiwa 475 hii 25 shillings inaenda wapi hii ni uwizi si uwizi saizi ruto lazima jue that ako na nchi to take care of kama wezi chukua the best person would have been the right person for this seat ingekuwa ni baba raila molo dinga lakini kwa sababu ya uwizi sasa kama unajua kuiba kura unajua kuiba kila kitu sasa sasa tena unataka kuiba maisha ya wananchi ya Kenya hiyo naye atutakuba asanteni sana